Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit controversial, but please understand this is nothing personal. This is just my story and the story of my family and I'm not here to hurt you or to diminish the importance of your profession. It's just my personal experience with medicine, modern medicine and doctors. So as you can imagine, my experience was not the best. And so in this video, I really want to talk about the real reasons why I fired all my doctors and why I started a journey of self-healing. Because ultimately, this is what finally brought me healing, true healing, which I never, ever, ever found with doctors and neither my family. So let's get started with this video. I had health problems from a very young age. When I was a very young teenager, I was growing super fast and I already had very heavy periods. So I became very, very anemic. And so my mom started dragging me through all kinds of doctors, trying to find a reason for my anemia. And I was just very weak and very white and a very unhappy child right from the beginning. So she just kept looking for reasons. So these were my first experience with the doctors. I hated going there. I felt perfectly fine. I couldn't understand why my mom wanted to drag me to all of those doctors. But of course, I understand at that time I was really anemic and she had to find a way out of it. And I also wanted to mention that this is not just my story, this is the story of me and my whole family because we all had really bad experiences with the doctors and that's why we all fire them. I mean, of course, if I get into some kind of accident, if there's something like some kind of an emergency situation, of course, modern medicine is amazing. But for any kind of chronic health issues, in my personal view, modern medicine, medicine is not only not helpful, it's actually dangerous and harmful. So again, as I said, this is just what I think and this is what I learned from my own experience. So my second experience with doctors happened when my mom started going through menopause really badly and she was having really bad heart palpitations and she was getting hot out of the blue, she was getting anxiety, she was getting really weird attacks of really high blood pressure out of the blue, no medicines were helping and they just called it a really bad case of menopause. And so her doctor decided to give her hormonal replacement therapy, which didn't work for her. It just made things even worse. So guess what they did? They kept increasing the dose again, again, and again. And apparently the doctor who prescribed to my mom this hormonal replacement therapy, she was doing a PhD in hormonal replacement therapy and high doses. She was trying to find out what would happen if she gave women double or triple dose of hormonal replacement therapy and basically my mom was a test rabbit that's exactly what she was so the more hormones she got the worse she felt and then she started developing a tumor a cyst in her breast that they kept watching and watching and watching and it kept growing and growing and growing until at one point they said okay it's it might be precancerous in, in a very short time so it's better to just take it out and so they did and while they were taking it out, they actually realized that it was already cancer. It was a stage zero, so it wasn't a full-on cancer yet. And because they operated on her in a hospital that wasn't equipped for cancer surgeries, they were afraid that maybe they spread some of the cancer cells around. So they said, just to make sure, we will also burn that area with radiotherapy to make sure that the cancer doesn't come back. And so, even though she had only stage zero cancer, she ended up going through radiotherapy and poisoning her body even more. And she got such a shock, I can't even tell you. And it was such a stressful time for her and for the rest of the family. And knowing that the doctor was actually experimenting on my mom, especially when she already had a case of cancer in her family before, a case of breast cancer, and her aunt had it. Um, so doing that was just amazing and not even telling my mom, not even asking for her, for her consent to be a test rabbit, that's just incredible. But in the end my mom is fine, she had it something like 20, not 20, probably 15 years ago, so she's perfectly fine by now, but she went through hell. And then the irony of life is that the same doctor was also um, applying this hormonal replacement therapy to herself in normal doses, but still she did it. And she ended up dying of breast cancer just two or three years down the line. So justice happened. I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry that she died, but at the same time, it's kind of amazing how she caused so many breast cancers to other women and then in the end she got it herself. It's crazy how the world works somehow, isn't it? 
And then I had acne, really bad acne. And my mom took me to so many different doctors, dermatologists trying to cure my acne. And of course, they just prescribed all kinds of uh, acids and all kinds of uh, acid peels and all kinds of horrible skincare, salicylic acid products and loads of facials and antibiotics and all kinds of horrible things that just made my skin even worse and the funny thing is that most of them didn't even come close to look at my skin they didn't even touch it and they all kept saying that this is for my whole life this is genetic i inherited it from my parents it has nothing to do with my food it has nothing to do with mineral or, or vitamin deficiencies then i'm basically out of control there's nothing i can do i can only succumb to it and treat it with all kinds of harmful or expensive products for the rest of my life that's bullshit because as you know i managed to cure the acne naturally through supplements and food and lifestyle changes so that as you can imagine made me very disappointed in the whole um, industry as well because unfortunately medicine is an industry it is there to make money whether we want to believe it or not and it's sad but it's true at least that's what I think. So next, what happened was even more crazy. So my sister got diagnosed with lymphoma, which is cancer, when she was 35. And obviously she went through, she went through surgery and then she ended up having radiotherapy as well, just like my mom, to make sure that the cancer doesn't come back. She's perfectly fine now, many years have passed. And she's healthier than ever because she she embraced a very healthy diet and she's moving a lot and she's happy and everything's fine what's what surprises me the most is that when she was diagnosed or diagnosed herself with celiac disease a couple of years ago i found out that having celiac disease but eating gluten increases your risk of lymphoma by 70 times so that's possibly why she got a lymphoma because she has celiac disease but she didn't know and so she kept eating gluten and she got a lymphoma so imagine that if you're celiac and you keep eating gluten your risk of lymphoma increases 70 times so in theory you would imagine that a hematologist a doctor who works with lymphomas and blood cancers would know about this because that's such a significant fact right at least that's what i would think so when my sister found out that she had celiac disease and she went for her next checkup because I think she had to go every six months or something like that and she told her doctor about this she told her that she was diagnosed with celiac disease do you think that the doctor asked her anything if, if she wanted to know anything else if she made any kind of comment or remark no she just said oh, okay that's it that's it she wasn't interested she didn't want to know anything else I mean that, that blew my mind, honestly, because being a hematologist, you should know something as important as this. And the thing is that, you know, if, if I could make a video of 10 hours long or something, I could keep talking and talking and talking and give you more and more and more examples like this. I can't even tell you how deep my disappointment is with modern medicine. I mean, I don't know where you live, maybe in the US, for example, there are some great doctors. And then, for example, naturopath and natural holistic doctors are amazing. But in my country, we don't have any doctors like that. I don't even think we have them here in Spain where I live. So I'm not talking about those. Those are amazing. I'm just talking about traditional, conventional doctors. The majority of them are really not interested in helping. They just read the book and they apply what they know, all their knowledge, uh, without even trying to understand why things are happening the way they, they're happening. And also, the thing is that when they study at university to become doctors, all of that information, all of the university, all of education, all of the professors, everything is funded by the pharmaceutical industry. So of course, they get only a certain kind of information. It's not very profitable for the industry to talk about natural ways to heal things about the impact of diet, the impact of minerals and all kinds of supplements. It's just not profitable enough, so they don't even teach those things. And the problem is that a lot of doctors um, graduate from, from their studies and then they keep educating themselves and they learn about natural things too, but a lot of them don't. And that's the main issue. 
And the main issue is that they don't care about the diet. They don't ask anybody about the diet. Oh, and I forgot about the most important case. So my mom suffered from really high blood pressure for 20 or 30 years. Her life was a hell. She tried a hundred different medicines, nothing ever helped. And none of her doctors ever asked what she ate, ever. And my, my mom literally lived on chocolate and sugar, literally. And that's what was causing all of her symptoms. When she changed the diet, when she stopped eating all that sugar and chocolate, and then she realized that she was low in magnesium and potassium, when she started taking magnesium and potassium, her heart problems disappeared. And for the last five years or so, she hasn't had any problems with blood pressure at all. And she has been able to enjoy her life more than ever in her life. She's almost 70 now and she feels better than when she was 40. It's just such a shame that she wasted the most beautiful years of her life just because none of her doctors, and she had loads, none of her doctors bothered to even ask her how she slept, how she lived, what she ate. So that's the main reason why I quit, why I fired all my doctors and why I started healing myself. And as you know, I was diagnosed, well, I mean, I wasn't diagnosed, I diagnosed myself with Hashimoto's thyroiditis because none of the doctors were able to help me. They weren't able to tell me what was wrong with me. So I kept doing endless research and then I took certain um, blood tests that I thought would give me some answers. But basically, that's how I diagnosed Hashimoto's. If I had been going to the doctors, I would probably still not know. And the funny thing is that after I found out that I had Hashimoto's, I also got my mom to do the same test and she found out that she had Hashimoto's. And then a year later, we found out that also my aunt, who's a doctor by the way, and another aunt, they both have Hashimoto's as well and they never even bothered to tell us. That would have saved us so much time and so much suffering, but nobody bothered to tell us. And the funny thing is that one of the aunts is a doctor, so she should have known better when she saw my symptoms and when she saw how much I was suffering and the same for my mom, I can't believe she didn't tell us anything. It's just mind blowing. That's all I wanted to say in this video. And as I said, I didn't want to offend anyone. I just wanted to share my experience and why I ditched all my doctors and why I started healing myself. Because in my case, in my experience, it was the only way to get answers and to get results. And Oops, there's a fly flying around. And as you can see, it worked because I'm 95% healed. I am back to my happy and energetic self and that's the most important thing. So don't be afraid to take control into your own hands, doing lots of research, paying for private tests because that, sometimes paying for private tests can be cheaper than losing your productivity and not being able to work at full force. So definitely think long term what will cost you more, being sick or paying a bit of money for private tests to actually get the answers if the doctors don't want to order the tests for you. If you want me to talk more about any of these particular topics that I covered today, if you want to know anything more about me or my healing journey or anything like that, let me know and I will elaborate in the future videos. I hope that you found this video helpful and I only made this because so many people asked me to do it. Um, so I hope I didn't offend anyone. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.